Welcome to Nakhon Phnom. This place is actually a small town in northeastern Thailand. But although it's a small town, but it has a history back more than 2,000 years ago. So in this trip, we're going to discover what are the must-see places here. Stay tuned. Welcome to Prakai Pranom. This place is actually the landmark of Nakhon Pranom province. Probably the oldest place in the province because this place is actually about 2,500 years old. It was first built just eight years after the Lord Buddha passed away. And they had the reconstruction again during the, the UTI period about 400 years ago. In 1975, it fell down once because of the big storm. And the version that we see right now is the latest version of Prathat Panom. Among all the Prathat in the Phnom province, all the places where they keep Buddha's relics, this place, Prathat Panom, is actually the largest place. This is where they keep Buddha's relics in the breast part, which is the ashes of the breast bones of the Lord Buddha. And we're just behind Prathat Phnom and this area you can see the gong behind me. Actually the gong is the equipment you can find in Buddhist temples. Here, because Nakhon Phnom is preparing for the ASEAN economy community, so they have painted the flags of all the 10 nations from Southeast Asia here. Pratata Uten is a place where they keep Buddha's relics or um, ashes of the bones of Lord Buddha, which is believed to be received from Yangon in Myanmar. The location of this temple is really nice. It's just opposite Laos across the Kong River. I feel very glad here to be here today at Uncle Ho or Ho Chi Minh's house here in Nakhon Phnom province. He lived here during the 1920s for several years. And I think this place has a very important feeling for both Thai and Vietnamese people. So let's take a look inside. This is the working desk of Uncle Ho or President Ho Chi Minh while he was here. I can feel the history now. <sighs> Uncle Ho Chi Minh, he moved with some other friends here for about six years to plan uh, to liberalize the country. And just after the World War II ended in 1945, Uncle Ho Chi Minh became the first president of Vietnam uh, in the same year when Vietnam was liberalized by the French and he passed away in 1969 in Vietnam. So this place is one of the historical places that you must visit when you have a chance to visit Nakhon Phnom. You go back ho chong ngay vui dai thang Lai bak nai da thang chin thang hui wang Ba mi nam dau thang yang tun wang non song Vietnam Ho Chi Minh Vietnam Ho Chi Minh Vietnam Ho Chi Minh Vietnam Ho Chi Minh And now I'm here on the ground floor of the clock tower in the center of Nakhon Phnom town. This clock tower has a beautiful story because our Vietnamese friends, they built this as a commemoration or as an appreciation for our Thai people when they moved back to Vietnam in the 1960s at the end of the Vietnam War. 
The clock tower is one of the landmarks. So at night, people usually hang out around here with a lot of restaurants and bars. This is called Sun Thon Widget Road. And on Friday night and Saturday night, this, this road is adapted to Walking Street, where they sell a lot of local products. So you can't miss coming here at night. Nakhon Phnom does not only have beautiful river, which is the Khon River, but there is also a very beautiful national park here. It's uh, Pulangka National Park. So I came here this morning by driving about 100 kilometers from downtown, which is only one hour away. And here we are at the, one of the two beautiful waterfalls. This is Tat Kham Waterfalls. And the next one, we're going to Tat Po Waterfalls. So during, I think during weekdays, there are not so many people, so you can just come chilling, take, taking photos, or maybe swimming in the waterfalls. And driving around 30 kilometers from Patat Phnom on the way to Sukhum Nakhon province, we arrive here on the top of the mountain called Lan Dan Sao Khoi, which means uh, the rock field of girls waiting. So young people usually come here in the evening to hang out. And from here you can see a large area of Nakhon Phnom and also Sukhum Nakhon province. Very beautiful views. So it's a must visit place if you come to Nakhon Phnom. at the Dinosaur Museum in Tao Ten District in Nakhon Phnom Province. Here, it's a place where they found a lot of footsteps of dinosaurs, which are about 150 million years old. Here, they claim to have found about 302 footsteps of two types of dinosaurs. So this place is one of the places in northeastern part of Thailand where uh, the dinosaur's footsteps are mostly found. So here's quite an interesting place because you can see that the footsteps are found around here. Actually, you can see that the crocodile 150 million years ago was not that big. Only about almost one meter long. Amazing land where you can hear the sunshine Sparkling white sand, blue sea and the sky Miracle Thailand, pack up your dreams You just have to believe and start your There's two more stories for Nakhon Phnom So we hope you'll enjoy watching them And if you like it, please subscribe Miracle